and we're back to exploring mid-journey. This video is more like a prompt collection, so I'm not going to introduce any new features, but I've been playing around with using mid-journey for fashion design. And a couple of things are found out. Number one, you can start with entire outfits. Let me just add two prompts here, man's fashion look. And then I add a style, casual and tailored. This is going to give us an entire outfit. Here we have a specific thing that we want to design, sunglasses. So I add sunglass design for men, white background. And this usually gives you good results, at least in 50 to 75% of the images. White background is always something that you may want to add when you have a specific product in mind. Here we have good results for the casual style. But the tailored style, it cut off the model so that we can't really see the shoes and the legs. So it's a good idea to add full body perspective, something like this to the prompt. So let me do it again, men's fashion look, tailored style, full body perspective. And then you usually get the shoes and the full legs. Here are sunglasses, one and four are somewhat usable. So if you've got something that you like, just upscale it and then you can use very strong. Let's do it again for number four. And this is going to give you variations of the style. Very subtle, doesn't really do much from my experience. Here's our full body perspective on tailored suit. That is usually what you want when you're looking for an entire men's outfit. When you don't specify that you want to have a men's fashion design, a men's outfit, Midjourney usually gives you a female outfit. Here are our sunglasses, the variations. You can do that for watches, for wallets, whatever you want to use, belts. Let's run it again and this time I leave out the men and this has given me almost exclusively female fashion outfits and here I've added minimalist as a style, so minimalist fashion outfit, full body perspective. I'm gonna switch minimalist for futuristic. Here's our minimalist result, looks good. And as you can see, all female. Certain styles produce certain colors by default. Minimalist usually gave me white, brownish results, sometimes gray. But you can add a red color palette to it and then let it run. Here's our futuristic fashion outfit, full body perspective. It kind of loses it here and there. For certain styles you can see one and two, especially one looks more like a video game. It helps if you add ultra realistic to your prompt in such cases. So let me do that. And below we have our minimalist red color palette done. Yet again, all female as I've mentioned. But still looks minimalistic, good results. Let me add the next category, which is Balanchaga. And this gives you a typical style known for this brand or related to this brand. Here we have our futuristic result, ultra realistic. It's better, but still it focus or it takes a little bit of focus away from the dress because of the background. So here it would make sense to add white background. So let me run it again with white background. Let us check our Balanchaga results. Here's the one with a green color specified. And below, if you don't specify color, usually Balanchaga gives you red results, at least from my experience. But good results, I would say, for fashion designers. And here's our futuristic with a white background. Way better results now, I think. And you can take this 
for example, for game design or for animation, character design, something like this. You can use specific movies or TV shows and just let Midjourney generate fashion inspired by, and then for example, movie The Matrix or TV show Game of Thrones. Again, I've added full body perspective. Our matrix almost done and you can see full body perspective didn't work perfectly, but you can always recycle it. So let it run again. But this is typical matrix style, I would say. Same for Game of Thrones. And here we have the full body perspective in every case. And here, let me take it a step further with character design. We'll just make it a superhero costume and a supervillain costume. Once again, I use white background, fashion design, ultra realistic and full body perspective, which are the typical tokens that you want to use when you create these entire outfits. Supervillain is a little bit darker, but you can see this would be very helpful for brainstorming, stuff like this. Wedding dresses, they run almost perfectly. Every time I tried it, gave me at least one good result. And here again, I'm not a wedding dress designer obviously, but pretty sure that you could use it if you work in such a field. If you want to have a specific type of clothing, for example cargo pants, I would advise adding the color, then the type, then fashion design yet again, and add with white background. You can do that for t-shirts, for sweaters, for jeans, whatever. Sometimes it loses it and goes a little bit into a comic book area. So comic animation style area. So you may have to reprompt it, recycle it. For sneakers, you can do the same. And here I've added ultra realistic yet again. This helps with getting around this comic style, but it doesn't always work. Let me add black sneaker, blue sneaker and colorful sneaker. I will run it again. You can see it's a little bit too comic book like, but it certainly helps when you do brainstorming, here are colorful sneakers. And as always, when you like something, you can upscale it and then use very strong. And you can also use very region. Let us do that here just as an example. I don't like this middle part here, this line. So let me select it and I'll run it again. So just to sum it up, if you want to have an entire outfit, specify men. If you want to have it for men, otherwise it's going to be female. You may want to add white background, ultra realistic and full body perspective as tokens. And if you have a specific type of clothing in mind, just prompt it like this. And you can add certain style tokens like minimalism, futurism, and even inspired by movies or TV shows and brands like Palenciaga. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.